Hi guys, welcome to Let's Talk. And today on the show we have a guest. And she will introduce herself. Yes. Hey beautiful souls. My name is Lean Jahi. I am um, I'm a resident of Kisumu, but originally from Ugula, Ugunja. So I'm, 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 I like to call myself a village girl that is yes. cultured <laughs> into the town life. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. I am a business person in this town. I am uh, I'm the CEO of Pilot Juice Bar. We, yes. we, 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 we do juices, uh, salads. Uh, we're trying to uh, start a Smoothies. movement. Yes, yes, we're trying to essentially create a movement for healthy, conscious living. So yeah. wellness nice. and longevity is our thing. Thank you. Oh, nice. Welcome back to Let's Talk and today on the show we have a guest and our guest is Leha Njahi. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yes. And this is Let's Talk. So on Let's Talk nothing is scripted. Uh -huh. So the conversation you see us having right now, it is as raw as it comes. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, subscribe. Yes, so Leah, yeah, how are you? I'm doing great. I just love the whole idea of rawness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because then it just gives you so much to play around with. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So feel very much welcome. Thank you so much. And we don't judge, so nobody will judge you for any opinion or um, uh, choices you, you you may have made or uh, you want people to talk about. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, there's just one thing that uh, I feel uh, we need to talk about. People don't talk about it, but it happens. Uh, a lot of women complain about men, uh -huh. like uh, men are selfish. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when it comes to uh, when it comes to sex, men are very selfish. So you, as a woman, do you feel the same the same way? It depends. I mean, you really have to define how selfish selfish is in that kind of situation. Yeah, so uh, if you're talking about selfish in terms of orgasm and, and all that, yes. then, you know, we know it's true. Like, a huge percentage of women don't actually orgasm during um, penetrative sex. Yeah. We can actually say sex, right? Yes, we can say sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, for me, I think what happens and maybe people don't even think about it like that it's so subtle that we, we always just push it on the side it's the is is that when you when you for a woman yeah. when you when when you're getting into sex or you are just getting yourself comfortable around some um, around a sexual partner yes. you really need to be okay with the fact that this is somebody yeah. you're consciously choosing to be vulnerable with point of compromise comes in when it's somewhat someone you're not vulnerable with and someone you cannot be truly yourself with yeah, or someone who's not yeah. your friend yeah. ah. then you find yourself having to do things to please them then you, you forgo your own um, uh, satisfaction yes and, you yes. yeah because now you, you throw it to him and uh -huh. you, 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 you give him the power to decide how to do anything or yeah. who needs to feel more pleasure in this so <laughs> it's 
Neju, we've given all the power. So is it because you don't communicate it oh, yeah. to men or? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. And <laughs> this is amazing. Yes. I think this comes with growth. As as um, the older you get, the more you understand how you should put yourself first in certain specs, yes. especially like sex. Yes. I mean, uh, you wanna you wanna have sex with someone who's a friend. I mean, someone you can have a conversation with after. Yes. You know because. We, we, we are coming from a time when people who used to have sex yes. we are no longer in that victim mode mm -mm. Mm -mm. right now what I would advise people and something just that doesn't happen so often is I don't think we have conscious sex and and for me sex is a very it's a very intimate thing I mean it's it, it makes you become one yeah, so there should be that connection. Do you know why it makes you become one? And yes. people, people call me an overthinker, and, it, and it's okay. Uh -huh. This is a thing. Let me humor you. Besides the word of God, for us that believe in the Bible, besides the word of God, the only other natural action that can create life is sex. Which so, is true, yeah. Yes. So how much energy do you think is in that? Too much energy. Exactly. You can't. You can't be giving it to someone that, that don't deserve. That don't deserve it. At least for you, don't do it. It's yeah. the, at this point, it's not even about coming. Like, don't link yourself to somebody because it takes you for granted. Yeah, so, I, I read some article about uh, spiritual ties. Uh -huh. Yeah, those and things are there. They're there. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is the thing. The fact that you don't understand something doesn't mean it's not there. You know, we always assume the little we know is definitely everything, but <laughs> what we know is a drop. Yes. What we don't know is an ocean. Oh, right. Yes. In all that, I want women and men to have very intentional sex. Uh -huh. So mean, you don't just have sex with someone because, just for the sake of it. Yeah, don't. I mean... Yeah. When you're young, you are, you, you're having a rush and you want to belong and you want to be the one that tells stories of how good you're giving it or how good it's been given to you or how well you can be. But you see, that's the thing. That is just fun to a certain point. It's fun to a certain point. But now when uh, you get maturer, oh, yeah. you start to understand that the, like, uh, you don't have to take things for granted. You have to be with someone you feel truly connected with. It runs deeper than that. Yeah. Hmm. Uh -huh. As you grow up, as you come to learn about yourself, as you get to grow, you start to heal. Yes. Uh -huh. People right now, there's a, it's almost like a collective awakening. People are healing from trauma. People are coming from trauma. And you'll find most of these relationships outside here. They're relationships of convenience. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if somebody is dealing with abandonment issues, they would want the person, the person they get there in a relationship. Let's say I'm having daddy issues, abandonment issues. Yeah. I'll make sure if I'm dating you, I'll do everything to keep you. To keep, yeah, because now you don't want to. Yeah. It's like you, you're using the relationship to cover up something. Yes, I don't yes. want you to abandon me again. I don't yes. want, I don't want the thing that happened to me as a child to happen to again. again. But until we've healed and know that. We, we, we don't own people and, and and people are also just going through life like we are going through life yeah you need to give people the space to come experience them and let them go if it works good if it doesn't work good let's go yes can you I don't be part can you Bamba is one where where you always want to be very vengeful with that ex. Ama, you want to get back at him. But you forget to have you. Where will you watch? Come on, come on. Will you for whatever personal reasons you have? What would you, what would you feel? Come on, I don't wanna be a company. You wanna be a sister. Wanna watch? It's a whole lot of very uncomfortable that we in subconsciously put ourselves in. But now, you see, there, there are people who actually, when they get into, uh, like, when they get hurt in one relationship, 
the next relationship they'll try to make sure that they have to be next person. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah. that's somebody, that's how you see trauma because I think for me, what I believe trauma is, is what is how we act. Yeah. It's how we act. I mean, for you to choose to intentionally hurt someone else, it's because you yourself, you're hurting. Yes. So you want to yes. hurt everybody else to make them feel the way you're feeling now. Yeah, but that just it makes, makes you feel the pain. Makes you worse. Yeah. But now, who do this more? Is it the ladies or the men? Because, like we said uh, from the beginning, uh, most ladies complain that men are selfish. Now, when it comes to when it comes to sex, they say men are only after their own satisfaction. When it comes to relationships, it's like most men get into relationship because of convenience. Yeah? So they, they don't even pursue women because they really like them, because they really want them, but you know, for their own selfish reasons. So as a lady, is it really uh, that bad?
like it's it's really sweet. But but now, <laughs> women uh, claim we are selfish. Men are selfish. But these days, a lot of women they hide their investments from their men. Yeah. So, skumoja tu na shukianga tu. The house you're paying rent. <laughs> You're paying rent through the agent, but this house belongs to your wife. Yeah? So, Apo, Muna Tushinda, Mashamba Zikoko Inje, you're buying land. Ladies are buying land out here. And their men are never aware. They can never know. And every day, Mwanaume Diana Toa Pesa, you know, the lady's money, you keep saying that is her money. The man's money is their money. So, when you say men are selfish and you guys are doing things behind our back <laughs> let me let me let me just say this i yes. think finances are very 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 vital and very sensitive topics in relationships uh -huh. and i would understand for the women that have been busted and um, and they keep that away from their husband or from their boyfriends because either it will intimidate the man as again as i said we are not having a man that is ready to handle the empowered woman. That is the truth, right? So when you when you kiskia, kiskia, sasa saizi, wewe una nikatia. Kiskia leo kuna shamba eka kama kumi. Le, unane, eh? Unane ile nyumba pale? Ile ni nyumba ya leo. Unajua nyumba ile mkoa sasa 100 million. Yes. Inaona, inaona mtoka Moria. Moria. Ile jeep yake. Yes. So fast as a man who is genuinely interested in me. Yes. And is it not is not enough mental capacity where that doesn't offend you? You, you first of all make assumptions. Or maybe she's rude or maybe she's too difficult or you'll find an assumption. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll find you'll make assumption to justify why you can't approach me. It's because it in intimidates you. Hmm? There's a story a friend of mine used to tell me one story and I think it's one I'll carry with me the whole of my life. Uh, it was a family set up and uh, it came point Baba Keshi workers. And the mom the ma the mother was working in a very good place, yeah? So she was being paid a lot. Do you know even the times when school fees ilikuwa ni tajika new mama alikuwa na lipa but alikuwa na pia baba mwanaume pesa ashugulike yes yeah so that uh, that responsibility on the man yes. taking kama watoto wanataka anything and then muulize baba yenu because do you know what that woman was doing consciously or subconsciously do you know what she was doing she was showing the kids the man is the provider yes we women we are helpers and that's why for me mimi i don't need to to defend my position with a man regardless of how much I have yes. in the bank or in assets or you know. Yes. So in your place there are your manome. Roger, can you see Madame to not a kang? Yeah. Unazokuna put a meter moja. Not a bob to always it was. And then there's somebody akuna soyake. I didn't quite soyake, you kumbuka manze what you pay lay twenty bob in them to my hand. Do you know, regardless of how much I have, yeah. I would always choose this other person. This other person. Yes. Yeah. He's showing uh, uh, the, the capability to, or the desire to provide, to step up. Right? Yes, and you see, people either don't play it or they just don't know. It's always the thought that counts. But essentially what happens is it's the fact that somebody thought about them and made the effort to that, that is what makes the whole difference. It doesn't matter how many people are worried. No. As long as you are for this person I will go the extra mile for them. That makes the whole difference. The selfishness I think is very it's very subjective because it's different for everyone. Yeah. And then also, I would still really insist on this part. Let us be very attentive to this. Let's be very attentive to our parents. Let's be very attentive to step back for the dog. Let's be very attentive to our Even you as a mom.
kama nilimwambia vile nilimwambia na kaona kaa ni mbaya sana ni sawa ni sawa eh mtu akikwambia uko na mikukombo na ni kombo kweli ni zangu ni sawa lakini ni zangu so it doesn't it doesn't become a point of trigger when you niambia mikukombo zangu ziko kongo then i have to get all defensive need you me zia so and and i just try to what for those i mean Surprised how many people come to look at themselves in the mirror. Because the world already showed them that they are not acceptable the way they were. Yes, they are so used to seeing themselves through other people's eyes. They don't know how to look at themselves through their own eyes. <laughs> it is tough. It's an interesting conversation. It is you know, tough, I, my friend. I didn't even see if you can get this deep. But come towards the end of our show uh, today we had a very amazing guest uh, Lea and I promise this Lea we need to have you again on the show because we have so much to talk about and uh, we need to, to do another episode of this yeah yeah so um, any parting shots yes um, it's an honor to be here um, I'm glad I have um, I'm able to be in a space where we can create positive change and then it's, it's an amazing work you're doing. I mean, being part of pushing for the conversation outside there, I think it's an amazing thing. And my parting shot would be, people, let's be very intentional with our lives. Let's be very intentional with the relationships that we keep, when it, either friendship, family, uh, uh, the romantic partners, let's be very intentional with, with it because most of the times we find ourselves sacrificing ourselves for the benefit of the other person and we, we, we should change ourselves. So, yeah. And, and, and look at yourself in the mirror. Try to love the parts of you you can't look at twice. Yes. Don't let make, uh, don't make people, uh, dictate how you live your life or how you look uh, at yourself be proud of you who you are yeah like yes. live life on your own on terms hata kani ndogo ni ni yako ni yako hata vile unasikia ule mwingine alikuwa anasema ngara unasema unatafuta baba eh unatafuta baba wewe hata kama umevaa so ni pesa yako wewe ngara and then just to sum it all yes i want us to all register this there's no substitute there's no substitute for hard work and just find the you know working is really noble being responsible or having a responsibility in this life is an amazing thing and it's okay take your baby steps make sure every day you're making a conscious change and you love the person you get to become all right that's from me Leanne Jahe adios yes and uh, socials Oh yeah, um, on my social media handles, um, I'm Leon Jahi on Facebook. Oh, you can find me on TikTok if you're somebody you're into inspiration and fun. Yes. I'm also there on Instagram, um, Leon Jahi. I somehow have a YouTube channel, but I'm struggling to keep up with it. So, so we can uh, pin the link. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Leon Jahi there. I am, I am Leon Jahi everywhere. Everywhere. Jahi was, yeah. yeah. So, and you know, as always, where to get your haircut, Matilda's, massage, haircut, Oh yeah, I'm going for a massage this yeah. afternoon. Yes. I deserve it. So, Matilda's. Until next time, see you guys. Adios. Okay. <laughs>